Welcome to my channel Gameplay Game and please subscribe. Thanks and play. What's going on? What's going on? Brutus here, bringing you in a live attack. I'm on my Town Hall 10 here, One Hives Brute. In the MLCW week number two, Team WBT versus Edmonton uh, Cold. This one's been hit once already, so let's take a look at it. I am trying to double this base. Uh, how we're going to do that, looking at information already from the last attack. In fact, we'll hit replay just so you can see that. Um, and then I'm going to do a... Um, KYN Shaz did, or, or, or Kyan, or Kai, uh, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, my bad, I'm never pronouncing that correctly, I apologize. But he did a queen walk, um, attempted to do a queen walk, uh, gobo valk dive. Um, I think there's a good way to, uh, put an attack strategy video using him, uh, as an, as the content. Cause he was successful on his other one on the other Town Hall 11. Um, but looking, what we're doing here is what we see from here is I get one Tesla. It's a double witch, baby dragon combination. Uh, so there's that to deal with. Um, you'll see that the giant bombs come in really late. And they're kind of parallel in between the bomb towers and infernal tower. You'll see how that happens. And he's got a Tesla that's going to pop up next to each side of the infernal tower. Kind of suggesting symmetrical. But it's not quite because the Tesla down by the DE storage. And there's going to be a Tesla just above the town hall. So other things I'm looking for on this. I didn't see a Black Sam pop up on the bottom left where the uh, healers were. And he deployed his baby dragon on the far left. There's one Black Sam. That is exactly what I was expecting. Um, there was a Black Sam at about 8 o'clock. You know, that's going to become important to... My plan for this, there's the double giant bomb ground skellies by the infernal tower and the other infernal tower. There's a red bomb on the far right at three o'clock. That's going to become important to also part of my plan. We'll see if I can sneak that out. If not, I have a backup. All right. So all four Teslas exposed. Uh, well, not exposed. It's just pretty evident. There's going to be another Tesla in between back here. Uh, and he's going to have another set of d uh, double giant bombs right there. And if I'm him, given that there's uh, space, let's <laughs> let's just get out of here instead of fighting the screen. How about them apples? Go in here, and I do believe the last giant bomb is in between here. I think he has uh, the other two in between here and the the single right there. And that will account for five. Just because it was empty because the other uh, Tesla was back on the right side here. All right, so what we're going to do is take a look at my army, which the spell last spell is coming. Uh, another jump and another heal, uh, which I really struggled with on heal or, or third rage. And I decided at the last moment for heal, and that might be my undoing. Uh, but that's the army. Stoned, gobo, with back in baby drags for percent. What we're going to do is we're going to send just one golem. Uh, the first one, uh, actually the, I have a uh, archer and a minion, if you notice that. Because I had some odd shoot space. Hit cancel. And the red, remember that red bomb over here by the camp? It was towards the right of it. So seeing how this archer tower line is uncovering it, the air defense is over there and the splash is over here. I'm going to put a minion at the tip, at the 12 o'clock tip of this camp. It should not trigger the mine and it should work its way to the elixir 4%. And then on the left side here, mortar line is just like this. Wizard line like that. And then archer line underneath and the CC line underneath. So the mortar is really what I'm worried about. Ken doesn't really do it, but the wizard might. So if I put a um, archer right at the tip, at the uh, 9 o'clock tip of the barracks, I should be able to snipe a percentage there. And then my one loon that I had, cancel. I'm going to send one loon in between here to soak up that one black Sam so that I then can be safe to put down one of my four baby dragons right behind it to get these structures that's remaining that my archer doesn't or maybe get sniped because my, my timing is off. And then I have another baby, uh, baby dragon up here for the top. 
with his fighting. Basically one point defense at a time. Might be a black Sam around on the right side, but you know, I'll have a second baby drag to back that up. And then of course the, I think there's uh, going to be a black Sam on the right here. So I'm going to try to stay away from that and maybe put the uh, baby dragon over by the dark elixir. So he gets some um, low hit points uh, of the camp as well. And that's how I'm going to try to get my 50% with those baby dragons. Um, so that's one behind the loon on the left, one up top. I want to try and flank. Is that what I want to do? I'll probably send my one baby drag and loon early to help out the funnel. And then I'll keep three for the back end percent and just drop them where needed at those sections that we did. But after I put down my archer and minion, we're going to put down one golem. He'll aggro either the grand warden or more than likely the mortar. Four, uh, good morning, Kalani. Happy Easter. <laughs> uh, four bowlers behind, uh, behind that one. And, um, and no rage. I do not have a rage dedicated for this area because I'm going to come heavy. Uh, and the other reason is I'm worried about when I aggro the CC. I'll put down, the wizard line is like this. I'll put down two bowlers. Maybe even, I'll put down three possibly. Three bowlers bouncing this way to the right. I need to make sure this archer tower goes down, but is done in a way that I get the full value of my golem with controlling when that um, CC comes down. Uh, comes out because of the, it's, there's a baby dragon in there and I, my queen is the only thing that shoots back in the air. That's another reason why I'm kind of wanting to put a loon and baby dragon for the percent, but I, I'll gut, I'll judge that if needed, if I'm struggling to get down that queen. Poison for that encounter. Hopefully I don't aggro it. I'm hoping everything dies or aggros it and then dies after they get their goal. Send the second golem. Um, probably gonna hit this mortar and then the third one at the, at the cannon. I got five more bowlers to the right. That'll be the second deployment with the rage to the right. It will get basically all of this right side. And there is my funnel formed. I'm going to send the majority of my army this direction uh, with my bowlers. I should have 10 remaining. My, my royals basically is where it's at. And because of this dead space right between the warden and this archer tower, when all that stuff goes down, the bowlers should push to the right. I have a jump plan for right here in case anything is left over on the right because rage bowlers do work. <laughs> so jump in between here to let everybody into the party. And I have a second jump right here. And the only reason why is that I, I, I don't want another excuse. I mean, I could either double freeze it, which doesn't make sense. I'm just, I'm going to put two jumps to give me a chance to get everything up in there plus percent. Um, I, I, you know what I didn't do was count the, the buildings on this, but we sh I'll do that real quick. Uh, EQ the town hall, rage in, uh, down here below, because I do expect my queen to get the town hall late with the ability guaranteeing that. And I'm gonna put a heel right in the middle to try to give me back some time, whatever's remaining, plus it might help me deal with all those Larrys and the, and the B, uh, baby dragon coming at me, but that's the plan. Um, just quick eyeballing, I'm gonna have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, yeah, forty. Forty and baby dragons can get five. Okay. Let's uh, finish up these spells and get it over with. Oh, fifty-five seconds. That is the most expensive three gems ever. One more look at the army. Seven for the left, five for the right. Ten up the gut. Oh, stretch, shake out the hands. Whoo. Okay, one last look. Minion, archer, golem, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Golem, 12345 Rage. Second Golem. Kind of sprinkle up and spread out the bowlers. Then the five. Then the Archer Queen. Jumps can go down early. It's 60 seconds and that's going to go really fast. CC will be aggroed. There's no, there's no doubt. CC is going to be aggroed. CC is going to be aggroed. And if, if it doesn't aggro, that's freaking gangster. All right, let's uh, let's get it over with. Whew. Whew. 
Shake out the hands. Let's get this over with. Really need this. Okay. Archer, no, minion, archer, uh, left side, then right side, then middle. Here we go. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. And... That should be okay. Golem. Rage. Second Golem. Right about there. Come on, let's go, let's go. We should get it, we should get it. All right. Come on, queen, work with me, let's go. Get off me, son. Oh, black charm, nope. There's the 50. That'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Woo! Let's go back and let's watch the replay. Okay. Minion didn't aggro the camp. That's fine. I got the percent. That Hey, if you look at the percent on what I got, I'm telling you, man, those small troop space that I was talking through, um, I could even maybe have gotten away with uh, two archers. You got to look for that stuff. I mean, there was another angle up here at the top right that I saw. Um, but you got to look for that stuff for exactly the percentage that I got on this. I mean, 852%. Five, uh, the difference maker was that maybe one archer as well as that one minion. But the minion got me two structures for sure that I saw. The archer got me one. So that's that right there is 3% or 2% for sure. Um, okay, so yeah, um, I'm glad I did not use rage on the bottom. It wasn't needed. I got the full value of that golem's time to create the funnel. It was absolutely perfect and I and I didn't want to aggro the CC and the whole reason why I decided not to use a rage there was because of that fact that I wanted to ensure I didn't pull the CC at least give me a chance to not pull the CC um, and that's what happened by choosing not to use a rage at the bottom left. Uh, funnel was was great. What could I have done differently in the core here? Was the... So... Maybe not needing a heal, maybe. I don't know if it, you're not getting any benefit of of the heal on five of your troops because of the infernal tower. I mean, that's a, there's the other black Sam on the far left. So that definitely hurt. I wasted one baby dragon, but I mean, I could have. I I was wrestling with maybe using a freeze on the left side because I knew I would get that infernal first. But at, at one, look at that, 52%. I'm telling you, if I did not get these structures right here, I mean, really, that's what we're talking about, folks. That's why you do those things. But I really struggle with the freeze, and honestly, I, maybe that should have been a freeze. Uh, it re I, don't, I really don't know. That last spell is up for debate. You guys tell me what you would have done in the comments section. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the live raid and the talking points. Once again, it's Brutus reminding you, you got to be better than a double, and I will check you next time.